Hi, I'm Chad here with DT Swiss, and we are going to go over the torque cap conversion kit onto your Boost 350 hub. What you see in front of me here is everything that you're going to need to install that new torque cap kit onto your Boost front hub. This kit is only available for 110 by 15 millimeter Boost front hubs. You cannot take any DT Swiss non Boost hub and make it a Boost hub. So, with that said, let's get into the conversion. As you can see in front of me, we have, of course, the 350 Boost front hub. We have the DT Swiss installation slash removal end cap tool for 350 front hubs. We have some grease, we have a soft blow mallet, and we have our Boost 350 torque cap conversion kit. So let's get started. We're going to take our DT Swiss removal end cap removal tool for 350 hubs, and we are going to just barely install that into the end cap and slightly push down on it, and you'll see it just pops off like so. Once we pop it off, just mental note here, this end cap is, also has a lock ring that holds it into place. So we have the end cap and the lock ring. I'm going to go ahead and sit that off to the side, and we're going to do the same exact thing to the disc brake side. Once you remove that, I'll show you that we have, once again, the lock ring and the end cap. Thing to quickly note about the end, cap, end caps on the 350 front hubs is the longer side will always be on the disc brake side. The shorter one it goes on the non-disc side. So again, we're going to keep those separated and keep them off to the side because the new boost end caps are slightly different and we just want to make sure that we keep those two separated. So what I'd like to do now is grab a rag real quick and wipe out that hub. Most of you will probably be converting a used wheel or something of that nature, so it's just good to go ahead and wipe out that old grease and any contaminants, dirt, debris that might be inside of there. Just for a little bit of extra added protection and all that, I'd like to go through and just add a slight bit of grease on the, uh, on the bearing. Um, we'll just do that on both, both bearings on both sides, and we'll go ahead and put that off to the side now that we don't need it. So now that we have the the 350 hub all cleaned and some new grease on there. I'm going to go ahead and pull the end cap out of the bag here and we'll just inventory the parts so you, everyone can see what we have. So just like before we have our lock rings, we have some end caps. I'm going to lay them out here for you. Lock ring, lock ring, and then the torque cap. So like previously we have the lock ring which is the same as the current 350 hub so you could reuse those if you happen to lose one but they are the same. The end cap kits are different, and that's where I'd like to show you the difference. The torque cap end caps are shorter than the standard boost end caps. As you can see, there is the non-disc side, and we also have the disc brake side. So slightly difference in height, just something to keep note of and to keep those separated. So let's get started on the installation of that. Now that we have the hub, we'll start with the non-disc side. So once we do that, we're going to grab that shorter end cap, place that onto the hub, and the lock ring, place that on top, and the installation cylinder. Now it's getting away from me. Um, on the non-disc brake side, we are going to use the larger diameter part of the cylinder, put that on there, and then we are going to use the axle centering tool. And just go ahead and tap this in until you hear a nice little thud. Just like that, you know that it is pressed in fully. You can also look to make sure it's pressed nice and smooth on there, which it is. Now we will go to the disc brake side. On this one we are going to, just like we did on the non-disc side, we're going to install that. Drop the lock ring on top of there. The difference being on this side with the installation tool with those two different diameters of the cylinder, we want to use the shallower, the smaller diameter cylinder and put that onto the disc brake side. Once again we put that into the axle and we just go through and give this a nice little thud until you hear that nice dead sound and then you know it is fully pressed in all the way. Once we have that, the hub now has the end cap kit back on it and we just take these and you'll hear a slight click when these press into place. So there is one torque cap and then there is the other one. So now your Boost 350 front hub is ready to be installed into a torque cap fork. Thanks, have a good day.